We cannot directly upload movies to YouTube, but we can create a channel like this. So what exactly is he doing? He just uploads movie snippets and uses voiceover to narrate the whole movie in his video. His channel, as you can see, is monetized. The channel was created in 2019 and in that little time has already racked up over 830 million viewers. It implies that you may upload videos without worrying about copyright concerns if you use a clever approach. Over the year, these 15-minute videos have gained millions of viewers, which brought their author a significant amount of money. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up a channel like this. Simply follow all of the instructions I'll provide you. But first, look at his profits. On the basis of ad income, he made over $58,000. It's a ridiculous sum. Now we'll make a channel similar to this one. Open any video to see what the author is doing. We see fragments of the movie with voiceover. It's simple. So first and foremost, we need a film. Download and save your favorite movie from the internet to your laptop. In my instance, I had previously downloaded the movie John Wick Chapter 3. Do not release the whole film. If you do this, YouTube will delete your video and maybe your channel. We now need a script. I've developed three script authoring options for you here. You may choose any of them. The first script writing technique is ChatGPT. Offer him a prompt to write the whole explanation of a movie, such as Jack and the Giant Slayer, and it will begin creating a full screenplay for you. However, since ChatGPT only includes data up to 2021, this strategy will not work on all movies. It may not have any new movie information, such as John Wick Chapter 3. So, we'll go to technique number two immediately. This procedure is quite easy. If you like movies, watch the whole thing first. Then, in your own words, describe the whole film. But bear in mind that your film should be between 10 and 15 minutes long. To begin, create a script in a Word document. In this screenplay, write your thoughts after viewing the movie. And now, after editing bits from any movie, just record your voice. The third method of screenplay writing is to use IMDb. I now open Google and search for John Witt, Chapter 3. Visit this website. IMDb is a website that contains information on movies, television shows, podcasts, home videos, and video games. Scroll down to reach the storyline section. Select plot synopsis. The whole narrative of the film may be found here. You may either take an idea from the movie or include this summary into the explanatory screenplay for your video. When copying the text, please note that it will need to be edited to avoid copyright infringement. Keep some modifications in them or rewrite the whole article. Our first step has been done. The second step is voiceover. If possible, record your voice. However, if your vocal quality is poor, you may utilize an AI voiceover. Go to Eleven Labs and paste your whole script there for this reason. You can choose one of the voices as natural as possible. Play around with the tweaks to get a good sound. It's very important. I'll tell you why later. When you use Eleven Labs for the first time, you will get 10,000 free words. I recommend subscribing and discover all the possibilities. A large selection of goes, as well as the ability to record your voice and increase the limit to 30,000 words. For the first time, the subscription will cost $1. By going to Voice Library, we can select a voice. By category, language, gender, age, and other settings. Let's quickly listen to some examples. I'm not interested in age. I've often regretted my speech. There is no failure except in no longer trying. We must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey. Where there is great love. Gratitude is riches, complaint is poverty. Once selected, add to your list of uses and insert the text. There is a limit of up to 5,000 characters at a time. So you will need to create the remaining amount of audio. With a quick copy of the unedited text so I don't have to spend time on it now. You can use another AI to rewrite the text. If you are interested, write in the comments. I will make a separate video where I will show how to do it without copyright infringement with the possibility of using it. Let's hear what we got. ...runs through New York as time runs out on his grace period. He turns into an alley and sees the TikTok man, one of the Bowery King's spies. Download the video to your computer and that's it for now. It will create the whole script for you. However, with any AI tool, always employ human-sounding voiceovers. In listening, your chosen voice does not sound like a robotic melody because YouTube may refuse your monetization due to poor artificial voiceovers. The next stage is video editing, which is the most important if you want to create a channel in this category, because YouTube might send you to a copyright strike if your editing is poor. So keep watching the instruction to the end. You can use the editor I use, CupCut, in the video. You can download it for free on the official website and see its main functions. These are background removal, speech-to-text, text-speech. It is easy to use and I find it convenient. 
I will first add the movie and remove the original voiceover from it and add my own, which I made in advance. Cut the video every 8 to 10 seconds and make a small clip out of it. Use no longer than 10 seconds of video. Simply cut the whole movie into small bits according to your screenplay. I'll make a one minute video so I can watch the whole thing at a faster pace. Finish your edits. Because you added narration and erased the movie's original audio, this will now be your content. Simply save it on your laptop. Let's see what we got. John runs through New York as time runs out on his grace period. He turns into an alley and sees the TikTok man, one of the Bowery King's spies. He gets into a taxi, but the roads are gridlocked. With only 20 minutes until he is officially excommunicado, he decides to get out and run again, but not before he gives the driver a gold coin to get his dog safely to the Continental. He arrives at the library and asks for a book in which he reveals a hidden compartment containing some coins, a cross, a marker, and a picture of him and his wife, which he kisses. A large man, Ernest, corners him in the bookshelves. John tells him he still has time left, but Ernest doesn't care. Who is going to know about a few minutes? The two have a fight which culminates in John using the book to break Ernest's jaw and snap his neck. It leaves him with a bad stab wound on his shoulder, though. So he visits the doctor at his home address, with only five minutes to go. The doc agrees to help, but has to stop stitching halfway through. The grace period is over. The thumbnail is the next phase. If you look at this channel, you'll see that he's just utilizing a few clips from the movie as thumbnails. So... Watch the whole movie to catch the incredibly intriguing sequence. If you wish to add some things to the screen, cut it down. In my case, I like this moment from the film John Wick 3. I just pressed to snap the screenshot. Now go to canva.com. It is a free graphic design program. Now, click enter after selecting the YouTube thumbnail. Navigate to this website and submit your screenshot. Change the image's size. Now add additional things to make your thumbnail more appealing. But keep in mind that you should not include several items in your thumbnail. To make the thumbnail more intriguing, use fewer words and fewer components. I've previously posted a video on how to create high-quality clickable thumbnails. You may watch it to learn about thumbnail creation approach. Our last step is to publish. Publish your video to YouTube. Now we'll add the title, tags, and description to the video. Go to GPT Conversation and right here. Generate best eye-catchy title for my YouTube video that is about John Wick. Chapter 3, Full Explanation in English. Now, choose a title. This one appeals to me. Simply copy and paste it into the title field. Return to GPT Chat and give him the instruction to produce a brief description for my YouTube channel based on this title. Wait a few seconds and your description will be ready. It should be copied and pasted into the description area. Fill up the blanks with your Canva thumbnail. The tag section comes next. Return to ChatGPT and give me best relevant tags for my video. You should insert tags separated by commas. So let's say that they should be written that way. You may also utilize the YouTube search bar and the vidIQ tool to generate keywords for your video. Simply put all of the tags into the tag area, then choose video language and finish the remaining parts as desired. As you can see, there is no copyright problem here. YouTube finds copyright material here, yet our content is completely unprotected. So it's all about the video here. That's it for now. All that's left is to publish. Write in the comments how do you like this niche for YouTube channel. See you in the next videos.